Hello, my dear student. In this lecture, we are going to be calculate our VC system effect. Ki how much amount of work input going to be occur? How much amount of QE heat addition going to be occur? And how much amount of QR heat rejection gonna be occur over compressor over compressor over your this evaporator and over your condenser so in previous lecture you have to easily understand about what is the meaning of VC cycle and in this cycle you gonna be used some four types of you gonna be used some four types of instrument and your first instrument named as evaporator and this is your evaporator this is your compressor and this is your condenser and this is your throttle ball so by the using of this four component by the using of this four component you have to easily maintain the cooling effect is it right you have to easily maintain cooling effect here here you have to easily maintain cooling effect and how you have to maintain the cooling effect by this instruction of heat is it right and by the rejection of this heat this qr rejection of heat from the condenser okay and from the evaporator by the instruction of this heat you have to create some cooling effect okay and this work input is actually transferred to your compressor okay so this is your work input so how much amount of work input which is going to transfer over the compressor and by the compression work this refrigerant gonna be circulate into this cycle into the system and by the circulation of this refrigeration this QE heat gonna be extracted from this cooling atmosphere or from this storage space where cooling effect gonna be occur. So how much amount of this QE heat gonna be extracted and how much amount of this QR heat gonna be rejected to the atmosphere and how much amount of work done which is carried from the electric board. How much amount of this work done. Okay. So in this lecture we gonna be calculate these all threes is it right okay so my dear friends in previous lecture my dear friends in previous lecture you have to study this cycle you have to study this cycle okay this vc cycle where compressor gonna be stall condenser gonna be stall evaporator gonna be stall and throttle valve gonna be stall okay you have to study this cycle okay and in this cycle you are study about all the phases of refrigerant okay all the phases of refrigerant here q rejection and here q extraction where t lower temperature gonna be maintained and here t higher to the ambient temperature this is your t higher is nothing but your ambient temperature okay so in this system the refrigerant gonna be work circulate here vapor in form here your refrigerant in gases in form at very low temperature here also at very low temperature here your refrigerant which are in gases in form at very high temperature and here your refrigerant in liquid in form at high temperature and here also your refrigerant in vapor form at very low temperature is it right that means phase conversion of your refrigerant is occur in this system okay so let us show this phase transformation over ts cycle is it right ts cycle that means temperature and entropy cycle over the temperature and entropy cycle we have to mention this refrigerant okay so this is your 
this is your t scale this is your t scale and this is your s scale okay this is your t scale and this is your s scale this is your s scale and for the, by the using of property of pure substances by the using of properties of pure substances you have to easily sorry you have to easily mention this phase you have to easily mention your phases of refrigerant and this is a property of pure system is it right this is your ts scale okay so now by the using of basics of property of pure substances by the using of basics of properties of pure substances this is your critical point this is your critical point is it right and this is at that at this line at this line all the substance in liquid state and at that line all your substance are in gases state at this line at this line all your substances in gases state and at this line all your substance in liquid state and here here in this region all your substance in your vapor state is it right now you are also study in thermodynamics okay so let's start so this is your ts scale again i will draw it this is your t and this is your s scale and this is your saturation region okay so at this line you have to mention your refrigerant effect so here 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 your refrigerant in gases and form so at very low temperature so this is your t lower temperature very low temperature and this is your t higher at higher temperature so at lower temperature your refrigerant in gases is form so at gases line you have to mention your refrigerant okay and this is your point number first so this is your point number first so at this point you have to mention your refrigerant in gases state okay fine and by this compression work and your compressor is nothing but constant entropy so at constant entropy that means a single line a single line gonna be just like that a single line a single straight line a single straight line where entropy is constant that means here entropy is gonna be constant okay so my dear friends at very high temperature your refrigerant gonna be occur so at this point so this is your point number what this is your point number second this will be your point number second where superheated in superheated in region where refrigerant is going to in superheated in region where refrigerant stays is purely in gaseous form at very high temperature very high temperature this is your temperature scale at very high temperature your refrigerant are in pure in gases form this is a gases region this is a vapor region this is a liquid region so in gases region in gases region your refrigerant at very high temperature gonna be occur at that point number second okay fine so and now by this condenser effect by this condenser effect your refrigerant gonna be in totally in liquid state and this is your liquid line okay so here the rejection of heat in firstly in specific heat by the transformation of heat in specific heat and by the transformation of your heat in latent heat 
let and read q r gonna be occur q r gonna be occur from here q r r gonna be occur and by this q r your refrigerant at very high temperature your refrigerant at very high temperature is totally convert into pure liquid form totally convert into pure liquid form and now your refrigerant at t higher at t higher in liquid stage okay fine and now this is your point number third so this is your point number third okay and now from the point number third your refrigerant gonna be action in throttle valve and by the throttle valve effect your refrigerant gonna be totally convert from liquid state to vapor state so your refrigerant gonna be totally convert into vapor from liquid state to to vapor stage this is your vapor region na? this is your vapor region so your refrigerant gonna be totally convert from this liquid line to this vapor region okay so here here your refrigerant come back at very low temperature at very low temperature and in vapor in form and in vapor if in form okay and this throttle valve is i will tell in previous lecture many previous lecture mein aapko bataya hai ki this throttle valve is highly irreversible process so i am going to mention in dotted line is right okay fine and at very low temperature your refrigerant gonna be here in the vapor region and by this restriction by this restriction of this heat from the cooling surrounding that means your storage space from the storage space some qe amount of heat gonna be added and due to this qe amount of heat gonna be added this refrigerant this refrigerant gonna be totally convert into gases form totally convert into gases form and again your refrigerant come back at this gases line so by this way your refrigerant gonna be circulate over this ts cycle is it right and from here and from here work input gonna be occur work input gonna be occur in compression action okay so yahan se work input hoga और इस कंप्रेशन के वर्क इनपुट होने के कारण ये रेफ्रिजरेंट सर्कुलेट करेगा और इस रेफ्रिजरेंट के सर्कुलेशन के कारण यहां से स्पेसिफिक हीट ट्रांसफर होगी उसके कारण गैसेस से ये अभी गैस यहां भी गैसेस फॉर्म में है और यहां भी गैसेस फॉर्म में रहेगा बट ड्यू टू दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ हीट इन लेटेंट वे लेटेंट हीट वे तो आपका ये गैसेस फॉर्म से लिक्विड में टोटली कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा आपका रेफ्रिजरेंट एंड अगेन थ्रोटल वॉल्व के एक्शन के कारण हाईली इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस अगर होगी जिसके कारण टेम्परेचर डायरेक्टली डिक्रीज होगा और टेम्परेचर के डिक्रीज होने के कारण रेफ्रिजरेंट आपका वेपर में कन्वर्ट हो चुका होगा और रेफ्रिजरेंट के वेपर में कन्वर्ट होने के कारण एट वेरी लो टेम्परेचर अगेन ये सराउंडिंग से दैट मीन्स स्टोरेज स्पेस से ये क्यूवी हीट को एक्सट्रैक्ट करेगा और अगेन ये अपना रेफ्रिजरेंट फेस को चेंज करके इसमें कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा ये गैसेस में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा सो बाय दिस वे दिस साइकिल गोना बी अकर इज इट राइट बाय दिस वे दिस साइकिल गोना बी अकर ओके राइट फाइन एंड नाउ एंड नाउ सो हियर हियर दिस इज योर पॉइंट नंबर फर्स्ट दिस इज योर पॉइंट नंबर थर्ड दिस इज योर पॉइंट नंबर सॉरी पॉइंट नंबर सेकंड दिस इज योर पॉइंट नंबर थर्ड एंड दिस इज योर पॉइंट नंबर फोर्थ okay so q e q extraction is where is from point number 4 to point number 1 work input occur where work input is occur in point number first to from point number second and q r heat rejection where occur q r heat rejection is occur in this is your point number second dash is it right so qr heat rejection gonna be occur from point number second to second dash and again point number second dash to point number third so my dear friends practically 95% qr occur in this 
format in this path from point number second dash to third 95 percent qr heat rejected from point number second dash to third and 5 percent qr heat rejected from this point number second to point number second dash so for solving of any problem this heat rejection temperature is never gonna be considered here this heat rejection temperature gonna be at so for a heat rejection always you have to consider this higher temperature that means temperature of point third or temperature of point two dash is it clear this temperature never gonna be considered this temperature this point temperature is never gonna be considered always consider this point temperature or this point temperature because at constant temperature this refrigerant changes its phase from gases to liquids so my dear friends 95 percent heat rejection occur from this reason from this reason so due to this re reason you have to also consider this higher temperature at from at point 3 or point 2 days is it right so this point gonna be never gonna be considered okay so my dear friends qe at 4 to 1 work input at 1 to 2 and qr at 2 dash to 3 is it right that means qe occur at 4 to 1 work input occur at 1 to 2 dash this 1 to 2 and this qr rejection occur at 2 dash to 3 is it right now again this cycle gonna be represented over which cycle over pH cycle because by the using of pH cycle we have to easily calculate our QE our work input our QR so this is your what this is your pH cycle and by the using of by the using of pH cycle we have to easily calibrate the amount of heat extraction and the amount of work input and the amount of Q rejection so my dear friends now let's draw pH cycle because by the using of pH cycle we have to easily calculate these all effect okay my dear friends so at pH cycle the property of pure substance is represented by this curve okay this is your p and this is your h cycle okay so in ps cycle the curve is shown like that this first to second process is show like that this is your first process and this is your second point okay and again this is your from point second to point point third and this is your highly irreversible process so let it be represented by dashes path okay and now this is your path number from four to one from four to one this path is represented by this stage is it right so my dear friends this is your ph curve and over ph curve we have to plot all paths and all points this is your point number first this is your point number first this is your point number second this is your point number second this is your point number third this is your point number third and this is your point number fourth this is your point number fourth okay so by the using of this ph curve by the using of this ph curve we have to easily write our equation by the using of steady flow equation okay my dear friends and here and here one point should be noted that key all the process all the process are reversible from that means compressor process that means point one to two this is a, your reversible process condenser process is also your reversible process from point two to third and your evaporator process is also reversible process so my dear friends why we are not 
draw this dashes line in a straight line of course we have to easily draw this dashes line in a straight line because we already know our path if initial point and final point is clear then you have to easily draw this path in a straight line of course so this path can be also draw in a straight line and now from here we have to easily calculate all the data is it right we have to easily calculate all the data here at this point h3 is just equal to h4 and at that point at that point h1 occur and at that point h2 occur h2 occur and at that point p1 is just equal to p4 and at that point p3 is just equal to p2 and similarly this is the temperature of this is the temperature of t2 and this is the temperature of t3 equal to t2 dash and this is the temperature of t t1 is equal to t4 t1 is equal to t4 is right and this is the entropy line that means s4 this is your again over the entropy line we have to easily represent s1 is equal to s2 and this is your again at entropy line we have to represent s3 is it right so all the data are given at this ph scale and at ts scale this is your ts scale and this is the ph scale so all the data are easily mentioned here t2 mentioned t3 t2 dash mentioned and also here mentioned t1 and t4 and also here s3 s4 s1 s2 all the data are easily mentioned over this cycle and by the collection of these data and by the using of these data we ha we have to easily write our equation is it right we have to easily write our equation so let's start okay my dear friends so now calculation over cop now calculation calculation over cop for vc cycle is it right now calculation over cop for vc cycle so what is the real meaning of cop the real meaning of cop is nothing but desired effect upon work input and desired effect is what your refrigeration effect and your refrigeration effect is what your Q, qe heat extracted from the storage space that means qe upon work input so what is the cop value the cop is nothing but qe upon work input okay so here all four components are open system because both mass and energy is transferred is right now your all four component first component is your evaporator second component is your compressor third component is your condenser fourth component is your throttle valve so all the four component are open system is right now why all the four component are open system because here mass and energy both are transfer mass kaise because here we use refrigerant to so refrigerant sare system mein circulate kar raha hai that means mass gonna be transferred and energy why because by in compressor in compressor work also temperature gonna be increased that means mass and energy and also in evaporator some qe heat gonna be added and in condenser some qr heat gonna be rejected that means mass and energy gonna be transferred that means all the four system are in open system and in open system you can easily apply sfee that means study flow energy equation you have to easily apply study flow energy equation 
so by the application of steady flow energy equation you have to write this type of equation h1 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 plus q is equal to s2 plus v2 square by 2 plus g z2 plus w where this q in kilojoule per kg and also this work in which form kilojoule per kg is it right so my dear friends this is your main equation of steady flow energy equation this is your main equation of steady flow energy equation okay and in this equation kinetic energy change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy gonna be negligible so by this effect by this negligible uh, negligible amount of qe uh, kinetic energy and potential energy by this neg neg negligible amount you have to only got what this h1 and this q this is your kinetic energy and this is your potential energy is it right now this is your kinetic energy changing kinetic energy and this is your change in potential energy so in this equation the change in kinetic energy and change in potential energy gonna be neglected so you have to consider these value is zero so this value is going to be zero so only this h1 plus q1 sorry this h1 and q1 q so only the main value remaining as h1 plus q is equal to s2 this is two plus w this is your main equation and by the using of these main equation you have to calibrate your all type of energy like how much amount of qe extracted from the storage space and how much work input gonna be occur so first of all you have to calculate over compressor is it right first of all you have to calibrate over compressor okay this is your main equation please note it down what is your main equation your main equation is h1 plus q is equal to s2 plus w this is your main equation okay this is your main equation and first of all you have to consider for compressor compressor and com your compressor is nothing but from process 1 to 2 from process 1 to 2 this this is your compressor work this is your compressor work from process 1 to 2 okay now okay right now assume adiabatic process this compressor is your assumed as assumed as adiabatic process adiabatic process that means no any heat transfer gonna be occur that means q gonna be totally zero so in this equation q gonna be totally zero so here h1 plus q q consider as a zero is equal to s2 plus w is it right so what is the value of work input the value of work input in s2 minus h1 or we have to also return as this is your compressor work because this is a work consuming device so negative sign you have to mention in the form of negative sign okay this is your compressor work now calculate for a condenser second component is what second component is your condenser and condenser process is from where from 2 to 3 
from 2 to 3 condenser process gonna be occur and here condenser is your heat exchanger is it right now condenser is work as a heat exchanger so no any transformation of work that means work done gonna be zero so in this equation work done gonna be zero and q23 q23 that means q rejection is directly written as a what s h2 minus s3 which are in which form minus qe form because heat rejection heat rejection is also written in negative in form is it right so this is your final equation for condenser and for compressor the final equation is your this okay now we have to calculate for throttle valve is it right now in this lecture we have to calculate for throttle valve first of all we have to set this values here now we are going for throttle valve this is your throttle valve throttle valve your throttle valve is a isenthalpic process in which enthalpy gonna be constant and where work and heat gonna be totally zero that means w equal to q equal to zero that means enthalpy gonna be constant so by the equation h1 plus q is equal to s2 plus w by this equation this value gonna be zero this value gonna be zero that means h1 is equal to h2 and your throttle process is where from where your throttle process is here this is your throttling where enthalpy gonna be constant that, that means enthalpy gonna be equal and throttle throttle process is where from where from point third to point fourth so in this lecture you have to from point third to fourth that means you have to return this equation in a form of from point third to point four so this is your final equation is it right now we are going for a calculation for fourth component which is named as evaporator evaporator is your process number four to one and evaporator is also your heat exchanger that means only q addition that means q extraction gonna be occur in positive way and due to this heat exchanger work done gonna be zero so first of all you have to write this equation h1 plus q is equal to s2 plus w that means in 4 to 1 form is it right now in 4 to 1 form so here you have to study h4 plus q is equal to h1 plus w where work done gonna be zero and what is the real value of this is a qe that means what is the real value of qe the qe is nothing but your h1 minus h4 and this is the heat addition is it right so my dear friends for compressor for compressor the final equation is this for compressor the final equation is this for compressor for condenser you have to use this equation for throttle wall you have to use this equation and for evaporator you have to use this equation okay so my dear friends what is the value of cop now what is the value of cop again the c the value of cop is nothing but what the value of cop is desired effect that means qe upon work input so what is the value of qe my dear friends what is the value of qe here this is the value of qe that means h1 minus h4 is the value of qe and what is the value of work input this is your value of work input that means h2 minus h2 minus h1 this is your value of work input in negative in form that means h2 minus h1 is it right and where s3 is equal to h4 okay so you can also write here s3 
that means you can also write this equation h h1 minus s3 is equal to s2 minus h1 is it right so my dear friends this is the final formula for vcrs that means vapor compression refrigeration system in enthalpy form in enthalpy, in enthalpy form we can easily calculate the value of cop for a vapor compression refrigeration system and this is the final formula okay my dear friends so thank you for for watching this video have a nice day